Hey, Sunday night soul timers. I know it's been a minute, been on a little bit of a hiatus. We had the woman's purpose retreat and it always takes a lot of time, a lot of love to get that underway. And we had that last week and it was super successful. So if you were there, it was good to see you, but we are back and we are focused on your relationship to receiving. And this is a lot of the work that we did at the retreat this year. And those that were there, they, you know, your relationship to your ability to allow yourself to truly receive is directly correlated to the relationship that you're having with yourself and specifically where you are in your self-love journey. And I will even say like where you are in your relationship to love in general, because being able to receive from others is a massive part of this. I know for me, I've always, I've been so much more comfortable giving than receiving. And that's so common for so many of us, or you receive something and you feel like, oh, it's tit for tat. You got to give something back and look conditional giving. Um, it's honestly a little bit more common than not. And so many of us can grow up with like unhealthy relationships, dynamics to balances between giving and receiving. You feel guilty, you feel bad or whatever it is. But the truth is, and this is why it matters, you manifest what you believe you are worth. And what you believe you are worth is best reflected by how much you allow yourself to receive, how much you allow the universe to give to you. In fact, the universe can only give to you in proportion to what you feel worthy of, to what you allow in. So you might have these really deep dreams in your heart, these things that you've been wanting to manifest for a while. You believe they're possible, but for some reason, they're not happening. They're not coming in. It's because you might have a receiving problem. You're not open. You don't feel deserving. You don't feel worthy. You feel like you've got to go earn it, that you've got to prove it, you know, that you've got to kind of reach some pillar of whatever until you are deserving of it, that you're not enough as you currently are. And that's why it very much is a self-love journey. You can very much understand the relationship that you are having with yourself and others via looking at the balance between giving and receiving. Is it equal give and take? When you look at your life as a whole, are you giving out more than you're getting back? Or are you blocking yourself from the experience of receiving love in all forms, whether that's financial abundance, blessings, or otherwise? Are you depriving the universe, the joy of being able to give to you or others, the joy of being able to give to you? So what I want to invite you to do, and we're going to be focusing on this topic for a while, is just get curious, just get curious. And I invite you that each day this week, you just start to observe your relationship to receiving when somebody does something for you, do you now feel like you owe them? Do you feel guilty? Do you feel not worthy of it? And then are there types of things that you're more comfortable receiving than others? Acts of service, but not compliments. Give me gifts, but you know, not physical touch or affection, whatever it is. Because there's an answer within each of those. There's a clue there. So I don't actually don't want you to do much of anything yet, I just invite you to get super curious and what that says about your relationship to yourself, what that says about the worthiness or lack thereof you feel about you. That's it. So this is kind of an easy one. Could be a hard one though, depending on what comes forward and what's revealed it can be really deep work. When we start to just see like how much we're blocking like goodness from coming in, love from coming in, blessings from coming in, in all forms. So get curious and then drop me a note and let me know what you see. You can do it in the comments here on this YouTube. If you're on my email list and you got this via the newsletter, you can send me a note. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know what your relationship to receiving is. It's actually not better to give than to receive. Both matter. That's it for now. I'll see you next Sunday. Have a good week ahead.